pesticide use is on the increase worldwide. Without the use of these substances, insects and fungal diseases would decimate crops. And as global populations grow, farmers need to produce more food to meet the rising demands. If pesticides are not used properly, they can contaminate food and the environment. But many countries have no affordable alternatives. We cannot uh, definitely uh, say no to this technology and uh, we can just support the efforts in member states to try to use the pesticides in a good way so that uh, the pesticide applications are done in a good way in the fields uh, and that we can uh, preserve the quality of the food, the safety of the food and also the environment. In Austria, next to a field that's been treated with pesticides, a team from the IAEA's Food and Environmental Protection Laboratory is collecting samples. Traces of pesticides can remain on crops and find their way into soil and water and into the species that live in rivers and lakes. These samples are needed to develop methods for laboratories in IAEA member states they'll be used to assess if farmers are applying pesticides effectively and safely. At the laboratory, tests using stable isotopes and radionuclides as tracers are conducted on the samples. Research on organisms such as shrimps, which are an important food source for fish and other species, is carried out. This gives an indication of the impact of different types and different levels of pesticides on the food chain. Crops that have been sprayed are tested to see how much pesticide remains. And a mass spectrometer enables the scientists to see clearly how residues of pesticides are transferred into food products and the environment. All this research is being used to produce the tests and guidelines which eventually will be made available to developing countries. Our work is contributing to food safety because we are monitoring and targeting food and food crops, for example, in the field. We are monitoring the impact of contamination on food commodities, but also on the environmental, on the environment and its sustainability. Vienna's International Airport serves as a European Union border control point for Austria and neighbouring EU countries. Pesticide use in the EU is strictly regulated. But in many developing parts of the world, pesticide regulations don't exist or lack enforcement. Food shipments arriving here from countries outside of the Union are regularly tested to see if the residues of pesticides are higher than the maximum levels allowed under European legislation. At the airport, employees of Austria's Ministry of Health control the consignments before deciding whether or not to release the goods onto the open market. We send the samples to the laboratories and we get a result. And based on the result, we have to decide how to go on. Now, in the case the residue levels are too high, we have to react and we do react in a way that we reject the consignment or in some cases we are forced to destroy them. In the developed world, we've become accustomed to enjoying exotic produce at any time of the year. It's important these products are safe to eat and were produced with little or no negative impacts on the environment in the country of origin. Proper pesticide use, with the support of the techniques developed by the IAEA, can make this possible.